Yo, Plastic Bits, what up? Yeah, what up, chat? How's everybody doing? Feels good to be back. Um, Hopefully this build doesn't break me because it looks like a complicated one. I thought I was going to be good without directions, but thankfully, um, Thomas LT Studio sent me over some directions. And you guys just bear with me um, on the stream because I'm using one monitor. Oh, how do I put this in? Because I broke my OLED. I broke my OLED, so I'm using my secondary monitor now as my main. All right. Ooh, Neo Ergo, one of those ship. Oh, I just got to promote stream and then we will start building this. I was looking through the build guide and it looks a little complicated, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, I don't know how to stream anymore. That's a big box. All right. Where is my Twitch link? Yeah, hopefully your Neo Ergo ships soon. I would have loved to have built one of those. They look really cool. I feel like a, there was a lot that went out too, like the streamers and stuff. Con there was I see I just saw like a lot of content around that board. Um. But yeah, this board hasn't made it, I don't think, to the, like, U.S. But they will be running a group by shortly. I was supposed to stream this a while back, a couple weeks ago, but too much shit's been happening. All right, stream is promoted. We're good. It's weird running off of a, like a single monitor. It's like freaking me out. I don't know what to do. All right, chat. Should we unbox this? I accidentally cut across the, the thing with my uh, scissors when I opened it initially. All right, so this looks like all the goods. Leaf spring, so we got to be careful not to damage that. Um, I believe there's a screen. Oh, we got some stabs. Plate mounted stabs. I guess my version I don't have uh oh no the screen is inside that's right. All right, what weight is this? I didn't I didn't unbox this yet. Ooh. Nice gold PVD. Heavy. All right, you guys ready for this? So we got the screen. These are like the covers. 
I think this is for the screen, or this might be for the screen. And then you guys can also do like badges, which is pretty cool. Um, battery. There was a USB dongle, so it is wireless. So you got the bat. It's a big battery pack, six thousand milliamps. What we got here? Little Fanta Lab badge. That's sick. I think I'm gonna put this weight on it. Look at this thing. I love some rainbow PVD. We'll probably put this one in here. And we're obviously gonna go for the screen. Oh, that's scary. It's just attached. It's like attached like this. It's very fragile. We gotta be careful. Yo, Thomas, what up? All right, I believe this one's for the screen. All right. Yeah, this one this one looks like it's for a badge. I kind of cheated and looked at the build guide, Thomas. You were you were right. It, it does look a little difficult. So do you have to use the? No, we could use we could use um other stabs. You don't have to use all the foam, right? That, that was just in the guide you sent. Because I don't think I'm going to use a lot of this. All right. Pink top case. What do you guys think about this pink? Need somewhere to put. More. We got the bottom out. All right. We got a black bottom. Top. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I was like, hope I don't, hopefully I don't have to use like all of this foam. So I'm not a huge fan of like foamy sounding boards. All right, we could build all of this later. I think right now. I usually like to do the PCB in our assembly first and put in some switches. Is this plate stab? It's plate stab only. This is flexy. Is this the um is that the Bluetooth controller? Per key RGB. I can't do um I can't put the stabs in here. Ooh, I like how this pops out. 
this board is a plate stab version, but we'll do PCB. Should be one plate stab set. But if you wanted to, couldn't you still do? Couldn't you still do the PCB mounted stabs? Because I see holes for it. Oh, it just virtually doesn't fit. Yeah. Makes sense. I just had those on standby. Some BDZ. All right, let's build this freaking thing. This is going to be fun, chat. I don't remember the last time I used plate mounted stabs. What, um, what stabs are these? How does this, so like a normal stab, two squares in the front. I see the, I see the, this is epoxyed on, which is nice. Ooh, so are these Fantalab or Thomas L T Studio? I'm only thing I'm concerned. I feel like the stab wire doesn't latch that well. Like when I go to when I go to pop this out, it's really easy. But I guess it doesn't matter because it's plate. Do these mount under or over? Yeah, right. Just click in like this. I've honestly never used a plate mounted steps. But damn, guys, I miss streaming. I sit at my desk and I'm like editing and stuff. And I'm like, I just wish I could be streaming right now, but it'll be like too late. It'll be like nine o'clock at night when I finally get home or whatever. Yeah. It's been one hell of a past couple of weeks. Um, my car ended up getting damaged on the highway. So I didn't have a car for like five or six days. Um, I'm okay. It's just the bumper, the bumper got, um, annihilated on the highway by a piece of rubber. So that was fun. Um, I went on my one year anniversary for marriage. Um, we went to the beach. It was good to get away. Good to get away from work. It's crazy. Cause like all of this happened kind of like when I got home from the bachelor party. I didn't stream for a while because of that. Um, got my suit. Got my suit in for the wedding. So this is this is for my friend's wedding. Um, that I'm the best man in. Super stoked about that. What else? Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go in and get surgery. On Thursday. Hopefully everything goes well for that. Um, 
I don't know. I was sick for like a couple of days. And then I had stomach issues, so I have to go in for that. So it's just been Oh, I broke my monitor, my OLED, my Asus monitor. I had the Space 82 I was doing the B-roll for and I had it standing up on my desk. I shot the one shot. It was fine. And then I flipped the board over. It kind of wobbled, but I didn't think anything of it. And I, I turned around to go back to my camera, like, because it's always on this slider right here. And I just hear, like, crash. I was like, oh, fuck. What did the cats do? I turn around to look over. And, the like, I'm just, like, looking all over. I couldn't see anything. I'm like, okay, cats didn't break anything. Like, what the hell was that? And then I go to look back at the keyboard, like, to get the shot. And the monitor's, like, flickering. Cause it's like trying to save itself and turn off and the keyboard's just laying up against it with a huge crack going up that. So I had a, so I sent that into Asus. They fixed it. I should be getting that in the next couple of days. It's just been like a, it's been a shit show for me. Bad luck. Lots of bad luck. Hopefully that streak is over. Content, I was slacking on content for a while. I just couldn't, I was just so busy with everything. I just couldn't do, it was like impossible to do anything. Plus with my stomach really not feeling well, it's just not, no good. Yeah, hopefully after Thursday we're back on track. Carbon. Hype, hype. What up, Carbon? Yeah, I'm thinking about doing some giveaway soon. Um, Via, like, some sub subscription goals or something. I have a bunch of keyboards I want to give away. Like a Zoom 65. Um, some switches. I have like 10 bags of switches I want to give away. Some keycap sets that I barely, some PPT keycap sets that I don't use. But uh, maybe I'll do it over some like sub goals or something. I'm trying to downsize the collection. You guys did notice I'm selling some boards currently. Those boards I don't really use anymore. And I'm using a pre built keyboard from Drop. Isn't that hilarious? It's actually really good. I've been using it for like a week now. No modding. I didn't need to mod it at all. I'm sure when I fully disassemble it, it's going to have a bunch of foam in it. But it's pretty cool. I actually really like it. It's good to go back a little bit to see what that feels like. Like the pre-built keyboards. What kind of lo-fi shit is this? was ass I'm making my head hurt Mozart probably it said it said it was hip hop lo-fi that was not it made me feel like I was being chased
Yeah, it seems like it seems like right now the the market is pretty dry. The aftermarket to sell stuff. Like nobody's buying shit. If anything for che for hella cheap. Not too many boards have dropped. I haven't seen too much. So there's like the Zoom. They sold like 7,000 units or some shit. They don't even need to... S they don't even need to send out their boards. Yeah, what up, If? All right. Uh, hopefully, we get some good results with these. Uh, still waiting for my. I feel like the board just ran, right? Was it supposed to be like in stock or something? And you guys are really fanboying over that Neo Ergo. I thought you were done with buying keyboards. Uh, only if you bought it, um, uh, what did you buy it through a different vendor? Did your last for a while. I doubt that. That's what they all say. If. So one comes along and you'll like that one. You just keep buying. I haven't bought a keyboard in forever. I have so many boards that um that I still have to build like it's not even funny. <clears throat> Was Cordy Keys like the NA vendor? The North America vendor? All right, chat. We're going to learn how to pop in some plate mounted stabs. Less is more with BDZ.
All right. I just want to pop in one. See how this is. So these pop in underneath, right? Is there a specific way? Or is it the other way? This is this will probably be the most uh pink and black. Yeah, sure. I don't know how to do this shit. I've never used plate mounted stabs in my life. I'm going to break this shit. I have to look it up, chat.
Duh. Get out this chat. Give me a fuck now. I got it. Whew. Once I saw that it went in from the top, the everything lined up. Yeah, first time ever using plate mounted stabs. I've been always a PCB mounted stab kind of guy. If it has plate stabs, I steer far, far away from it. Not a huge fan. I prefer screw ins. This is like a proto, so this is just how they will also have a um, PCB mounted edition if. Yeah, I'm losing I'm losing my my keyboard hand. I don't know how to build keyboards anymore. Yeah, thanks for providing these stabs because I would have never had any. So how is everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I think it's been like almost a month since I last streamed. But we're back full force. I have a shit ton of switches to lube up. Some MS, uh, HMXs, some B Suns. We got all new GMK sets. We need to, um, Put on some keeps. And I have a whole freaking cabinet of boards to build. Um, let's see. Um, so this is the, this is the last order of GMK set. Uh, this is all one order. 
GM, GMK Bingsu R2, GMK Art, Teramisu, Bordeaux, NTD, GMK Olive. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six GMK sets. <laughs> some of them i still have to unbox i have a whole stack down to the left i originally got bing su through project keyboards but they ripped us all off so i didn't get that it's kind of sad because I had the desk mat and everything. The only thing I could get was like the base kit. But it's whatever. The desk mat's like okay anyway. Oh, I finally got a notification that... um. The hell is that set? Jim K Nightshade is shipping from Space Cables. So this stab is for beginners. Interesting. It's pretty complicated for a beginner. I think the way that it inserts into the plate. I feel like most I feel like all if anything all keyboards that I've built past like five years have all been screw in or clip in I don't I've never used plate mounted stabs even on like more budget friendly beginner builds it's always been screwing. All right, chat. We'll do PC, hopefully. And the uh, only thing I'm a little worried about is the, what is this 1.2 millimeter PCB? I'm worried about the flex cuts in the plate. I feel like this is kind of going out of style. Not a lot of people in the market that I know of are, are a huge fan of 1.2 millimeter PCBs and the flex cuts. I know it destroys the sound of the board, and a lot of times you need to use foams. I know the flex cuts and the 1.2 millimeter PCBs are very popular, like in China. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the flex cuts or the thin PCBs. I think it destroys the the acoustics of the overall build. The 
it tends to make it tends to lean more on typing feel than sound and i'm i'm a huge person on sound over feel Oh, the vertex angle, shit. I'm giving that I'm giving that board away. I'm giving that away to one of my friends. I would say it's probably one of my least favorite decals that I have. Yeah, you if you put some long poles in um and a flex, like a more flex um, build. You can you can have like a more deep, rich sound for sure. Thoughts on modes? I like modes keyboards. I've uh, I've tried almost every single one of their boards so far. I think they do a really good job. They have their own unique mounting style um the designs are really minimal like if you're into that if you're into like the real minimal thing like they're not gonna go i think the most craziest design is they had that um the loop I think the loop was like a little bit different from what they usually go for. But they they have really good quality in their boards. They produce a lot of boards and the group eyes are really short. So I think they do a really good job. What yeah, what up Tay? How you doing? Um, tube, what um what mode boards were you looking at? Yeah, I've I have um a one of three mode TKL. Uh, I've tried the sonnet. I had a sonnet. Silver with all brass or with all copper add ons. Um, mode 65, I've tried the Sonnet, I've tried the Envoy, uh, the Tempo, I haven't tried the new Sonnet though. Um, no, it's just not, if it's just not my style. Like the design language, it's okay. Oh, the new sonnet? I see I haven't tried the new sonnet. I wasn't asked to try that one, so I have no idea. 
that I don't have an opinion. But overall, mode as a company is great. Definitely, definitely one of my favorites. Yo, what up, weird pumpkin? Yeah, Mo's designs are really nice. Nice and elegant. They have a lot of options you can choose from. Their website's clean. The configurator is really nice. Like if you want to customize a board before you purchase it. Um. Oh shit, is this step caps? What's up, Dan? Bro, are you gonna build a keyboard? Yo, look at my cat. Look at my cat. He ran away. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this turns out. If I can get this under here. But yeah, what else? What else is happening? Um I'm excited to build my own personal boards for once. I don't have any plans for any upcoming boards like that are releasing. Maybe like one. I don't know how far out that is. But we need to go through my my builds. My builds are like old at this point. All right, we got to be careful. I think that's where the badge is. I'm not sure if there's a diffuser for the badge. Hopefully there is. All right. This looks like. All right, so don't populate those. Can't populate those two. Lulu, what what kind of dog did you get? Chat, how many how many uh switches do you think we bent in this hot swap in these hot swap sockets? Last time I got lucky, I didn't bend any.
Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a rough month. We're back. We're back to streaming. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of hot swap either. But hey, we're working with it, you know. All right, so this is built. I guess we really didn't need this thing. Yeah, there's been a lot of a life events this month, so streaming was just kind of set on hold for a while. All right. So maybe we need case foam, not sure. All right, now we can build this fucking thing. Bear with me because I got to I'm only able to use one screen right now. All right. So we can build this thing with case feet. Yes. All right. So that's got to get removed. We'll put that in there. Yo, Al Customs, what's goody? I don't have whatever film is in the. There's a Waco on the inside. No, right? Your stomach goes on. Yeah, yeah. Am I a gamer? Um, I play some COD. Like, that's about it. I'm just a COD kid. All right. Uh. It's for these. The most the most games I'll play is God. Put the pops in the cord, hell yeah. All right. I knew it, and I just guessed. All right. I'm going to use my iFixit kit, but it does come with a screwdriver set. That's a lot of dime bags. <laughs> Imagine. All 
All right. One dime bag down. Is this is this a logo? No. Nope. These are really tiny. All right. Logo. There's going to be fingerprints chat. Okay. You know, I'm not perfect. That is ultra tiny. There were so many bags. There were so many bags for the Zoom 65 V3 with all the mounting methods. Like, holy shit. It's like, what, seven mounting methods or something? I just kept unboxing it, and I'm like, yo, this is too much. Is this for the case? I think so. All right. I have a gold badge, but I think the silver, what do you guys think? Silver or gold? I like the silver better. Gold's like too much for me. The gold would match that. I'm going to put the bump ons on. Uh, Thomas, what, what is this build for this board like aimed for? Is this more enthusiast or is this more aimed for beginners? So these things go in. All right, we got to prep all these, huh? And they go in upside down. Yeah, I can definitely see this being more middle ground.
All right, chat. What do we got? What do, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Must be parallel with the case. Okay, we put these fucking protective films in. All right. I saw those. This is a lot of dime bags. Chad, what do you think about the build so far? I hope that this OLED screen works because the last two builds that I've done, the Zoom 65 V3, that shit was broken. And the Evo build that we did, that shit was broken. So I hope that this one works. The ad scared your shit off. Why would happen? <laughs> those are easy those are easy things to fix all right so we mount these fucking things No rubber or anything. <laughs> that shit's scary. Wait, is this a different screw that I don't have? Ah, there's little rubber things in here. I don't think I've seen that yet. The Quiet Place trailer. This thing's going to be like a trampoline, huh?
I was focusing on the build and suddenly a loud ass Gavin zoom. <laughs> Twitch did you dirty. Oh, I thought I was going to stay. All right, what are we doing here? There's like these little slots that allow these leaves to kind of lock in and I dig I dig it. Definitely makes it a lot easier. All right, now what do we got? Oh shit, that's adhesive. All right, insert the cable into the daughter board. Oh, oh, we're getting places, chat. All right, that's in. Does it matter what side? Looks like you have it to the right. What the fuck? whole strip goes on here Probably didn't do that right, but battery ain't coming out now, suckers. Probably was supposed to put the tabs at the end. All right. 
How does this go? Goes in like that. Now this screws in. Suckers. This is fun. I like a challenge. I hate when like streamers and oh my god, this is such a complicated build. Like shut the fuck up. I hate that shit. This isn't hard at all. Put some screws in some shit, follow some directions, you know. Oh, this is so overly complicated. I can't put in a bunch of screws. People just like to complain. All right, this shit's in. Ooh, connect the PCB and screen cable. So you guys have put this in for me. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So this comes out. And this goes in the board blue facing up. This is through Z Hall. This is through Z Hall. Then what? Hanging out the hole. Assemble some shit. Popping out the thing. Should we do case foam? I might do case foam just because I'm scared that this shit's gonna short out. Screws are hard. No, screws are easy. I mean, I have like a you have like a set like this. It's easy. Plus, plus this keyboard. This keyboard comes with a bunch of different bits, so should be fine. All right, we'll put this in just in case this thing decides to flex so hard that it's going to short.
Pins are on the top. Plug this shit in. All the nipples are through. These go on now. Yeah. Why are they all popping out? If you push on it a certain way. Come on, don't be a shithead. Diffuser. Oh, I gotta take out all these little. Is this from like Anno? And do you think you'll offer different modules for the, like, I know right now there's a badge and an OLED. Do you think you'll do anything else? Uh, 
Um, I think one thing, the only thing I'm concerned about is maybe there's going to be some light bleed, but we'll see. I think maybe this might need like a foam column around it. I have a feeling that it's going to bleed out onto the switch. What are these? Oh, is this a... No. I don't think so. Oh, shit. Uh, two key slot. Um, wait, that is a foam filler. You have to see from afar. Is there? <laughs> foam filler where? Like this? These? Oh. Yes, this is it. Now where the building guide has photo. Yeah, I'm looking at the building guy. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Does that get pushed down? That gets pushed down all the way. Oh, did I do this opposite? Yes. Oh, like will sink in the ocean. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> All right. What are the monitor socket filler for the screw? Use the logo screws. I don't know. I think so. Uh, 
Unless I'm tripping. Point eight, do we use two point eights? Two point five. I have one two point five. that okay that's the diffuser i'm gonna assume it's these logo screws three locations <sighs> Tricky, tricky. <clears throat> Try to trick me there. All right. <clears throat> so we got those three in. Place the connecting part. Okay. And tighten the screws lightly. <laughs> this is wild, dude. I fucking love this. I will say these don't fit that well. The tolerance of these isn't that good. They're a little crooked.
what the fuck are we doing? Morning. <laughs> I tried putting the I tried putting the bit into the screw instead of the screwdriver. The top portion doesn't screw in at all. Neither does the side part. It's alive. All right. Let's clean up. Let's put some key caps on. I'm sure we got some bent pins. That's all right.
All right. Let's minimize that. Let me bring up Chrome. So this doesn't have Via. Yo, all right, let's fix all that shit. Uh, no, this proto only has its own driver, the MM panel that I sent you. All right, I'll have to check it out. All right, let's get some caps. Let's get a sound test first. I dig this. This is sick. I like the little purple heart. Let me unplug that. Wow, that has a lot of flex. I'm so happy we got this first try, chat. Wow. You push on this thing and it just flexes like crazy. I think GMK boob was perfect for this. I couldn't think of any other pink set that I have.
I'll have to get the GMK boob death mat out. I think I have it somewhere. I was thinking either this set or GMK Analog Dreams, but I think this goes a lot better. Yeah, previously had this on a TKL and I had to take it off before stream. I'm like I'm like looking everywhere for this kit and I'm like, where is the kit? Eventually I found the kit after looking like three times. And then the rest of the set wasn't in there. And I'm like, yo, what? I had to go through my Instagram because I couldn't even remember what board it was on. I'm like, what board is this on? was on the um the PC mode that we were talking about earlier Did I lose the... Caps Lock? Sure as hell hope I didn't. We'll just put that for there. We'll put there. Oh my God. I can't even talk. And it's right here. Duh. Oh, and bottom row? I'm not a huge fan of the bottom row. I'm a 7U king. You guys didn't know this is how I store my GMK sets. Easy. <clears throat> All right, chat, let's do a freaking sound test. This is hot. All right, we can exit out of this shit. Bring up some monkey type. Let me. Flip the mic.
All right, chat. This is the Thomas LT Studio Fanta Lab Rich 75 with the FR4 plate, cat mink switches. Yeah, no, mink switches, sorry. I think. Yes, mink switches. Luba 205G0, 105 oil on the springs. Uh, Fanta Lab stabs Luba 205G0 and BDZ on the wire topped off with GMK boot. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely thin. I'm not a huge fan of the... The mounting style is very nice, but I don't think I'm a fan of the flex cuts and the plate and the PCB. It's making the board sound really thin with these switches. And the board definitely sounds uneven like on the mods. So I think if you were to build this, you would definitely have to probably throw in all of this foam. And probably do the force break mod. Yeah, see, I don't want to use long poles. It's definitely different. Typing the front height might be a little fuck. Might be a little high for me. I'm not sure what this measures on. But it does seem a little high. Yeah, you'd have to put, you definitely have to put long poles in it. Mods don't sound that bad. Alphas are almost non existent. All right, let's see. Different, different approach to design. Rounded. Whoa, look at it reflecting. More rounded design. The. Bevel, instead of it being like recessed or one with the board, it's kind of pops out. Yeah, boobs, boobs, a good match. We got the bottom weight. I don't think bottom weight um, does much for acoustics, but maybe helps overall aesthetic. It definitely ties into the front like theme with this border. We got the Phantom, Lo uh, Phantom Lab logo on the bottom. Very chunky back with a recess port. Um, very nice. Always nice to have a reset port. Um, another lip protruding on the bottom. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. Um, I like all the things that you could do. Customize 
um with the um what is it is this LED? But you're you're gonna be able to customize a lot of stuff with this. Um but yeah, typing feel probably not for me because of the flex cuts. I would like to see maybe a PCB offered 1.6 millimeter um, because this sounds very thin and dull. I'm more of like a very clacky person and I could probably prefer just a top mount board, but this is definitely interesting. Um, and I see this appealing to a lot of people. Probably long pole. Um, to accommodate the flex cuts. I mean, I do have a switch that would probably help out the board a lot. So yeah, rich 75. Yeah. Run and hide, run and hide. I'm like a freaking, I'm like a haunted house. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah. I like top mount, top mount, just a nice classic clacky sound. I don't need anything crazy or just a simple gasket, like nothing, nothing wild. Um, like I, I top mount short pole, like a normal switch alu plate. I don't even notice when I'm typing the typing feel like I'm more or less focused on what I'm doing on the screen. Or like if I'm playing a video game, I'm just focused with that. But I will notice sounds like when I'm typing. Or else I get annoyed and I won't use the board. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it for tonight, guys. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. I know it's been a long time. Um, we'll be back Thursday. I won't be streaming because I'm getting surgery, but I'll be back Tuesday. Um, yeah, look forward to content on IG and YouTube. I'll put out a sound test of this. Um, we'll probably be building something on Tuesday. I have some switches lubed up. Definitely one of my personal boards. Um, yeah, hope everybody has a good, has a great night and I hope everybody has a great weekend. Peace out gang. I'm out of here. I'm going to bed. I got a shower. I got to get up at 5.30 for